I have some little bitty bluebells blooming. These are the Spanish bluebells um, by a bulb underground. We recently redid the bed and I had a whole row up here, actually outside the bed, but because um, we've moved the bed over and redone it, some of them are right here and some of them are down in the other bed. So I have a whole bunch more bluebells that were moved here. And we have a few blooming that go all the way to the other side of the peony. Looks like this one's about ready to bud out as well as these on the other side of the peony. Something smells really good. I don't think it's a Spanish bluebell. These are Spanish bluebells. They're also known as wood hyacinths. And I can kind of see that. They're a pretty color like hyacinths. Um, they have the scientific name of by a synthoids, Hispanica. Hispanica, of course, for Spanish because they're Spanish bluebells. The Virginia bluebells are already done blooming. So the Spanish bluebells, their bulbs, they even look like bulbs. The Virginia ones, which already have their own website and video, they're perennial. Of course, the bulbs come back every year too, but they are bulbs instead of a perennial type root. And they are 14 to 18 inches tall, so they're perfect for my garden. Each bulb has two to six leaves and a stem. And I don't want to get in there and look at that right now because it's raining out here. <laughs> The flowers, like their name, are hanging, bell-shaped, and lavender blue, which is more like a purple violet to me. And the plants like the sun. These have quickly become some of my new favorite flowers. I love the color and how easy they are to maintain, and they die back without cluttering other flowers, unlike the daffodils that fall everywhere. But before they die back, all this little green, I, I wrote, my gosh, I wrote this some time ago. Uh, they remain a love stand of green for a while, so that part of the garden doesn't look bare. So after it blooms, I'll cut off the deadhead, the flowers, and then this little green stuff will remain. You can see some more uh, bluebells beginning to bloom in the back. Bluebells do come in other colors, which is quite odd to me because of the name is Bluebell. But I'm going to look into maybe buying some that are called White City, uh, Exlexia, Rose Queen, White Lion, Rosabella, and there's others. So I, I absolutely love these. That'll be something fun to plant in the fall and maybe mix up some color. I have read this many times, like in Facebook groups, people say that Spanish bluebells can become invasive, but I have never had that problem. Mine kind of was slow growing over quite a few years. I just transplanted them this year because we were moving the edge of the, the bed over, uh, but um, they're very manageable in my opinion. Um, they can be divided, just like all bulbs. After they die back, you just divide them and, and spread them around. But don't plant them near English bluebells, which is a hyacinthoids non scripta. Isn't that funny? Non scripta is the species. Or they will marry and create a new hybrid. Don't want that. You want to keep yours authentic. The stem of English bluebells bends over like an arch when it blooms, but the Spanish bluebell stands straight and tall. Sounds like I wouldn't be too happy with the uh, English ones with the leaves 
and everything uh, being weighted down, the stem being weighted down by the blooms. So the difference between the Spanish and the English bluebells, as opposed to the Virginia ones, <laughs> the English and the Spanish are both bulbs, but the difference is that the English bluebells are all on one side while the Spanish bluebells are arranged around the stem. So I'll try to get a little closer and you can see that they do go around the stem and there's some at the top that have not bloomed yet so they're blooming from the bottom up. So bluebells were formerly in the um, Scylla Hispanica, Hispanica uh, group family um, which explains why my squills there's a website page on that with a video the squills are sometimes called bluebells but back in the 90s everything was reclassified I am learning the more I study uh, about flowers and this is now in the uh, asparagaceae or the asparagus family doesn't look like asparagus to me but Maybe I should grow some asparagus <laughs> and then maybe I'll see the similarities. I actually think these would be adorable in a pot. I wonder if I could dig some up and get a little pot and put them out to bloom and gift myself next year. That might be a cool idea. I've actually got them from about there all the way down in my bed. And so before I finish this video, I was actually uh, filming over here, right in there. But before I actually finish this, I'm going to uh, see if I can't get a shot of a ton of them blooming. There's a good shot. You can see it looks like a bell. I'll come back and see in a few days or a week what they look like. Spanish bluebells are looking great. Got a whole bunch of beautiful Spanish bluebells blooming. Uh, and I think I'm gonna call this video quotes and go ahead and share it. They were moved this year. So I think all these should be blooming, but maybe not because they were moved. But we have all these blooms that are kind of covered up from the peony. But as you walk through the garden, they kind of peek through, and I like that.